Yes. Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome along to uh, Model Mania, the once a month show. Hasn't been like that recently, but that's what that's what we've advertised it as. Um, <clears throat> uh, once a month show where uh, myself and Wayne, Wayne, say hello. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Uh, we take a look at the latest releases uh, and dive into the world of uh, model aircraft as well and give, hopefully, some consumer advice. Not always good, but we'll, 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 we, we, we do our best. Now, I'd like to address a very, very quick thing that is very noticeable. I've made it worse. Is this. <laughs> is this right here. <clears throat> so... I've only just had a shower, and I put this top on thinking that I, I, I dried my shoulders, and I haven't. And that's why it's looking like a shoulder penis, is, is what I'm looking at now, <laughs> it is shouldery penis. So that's where that is, okay? That's what that is. But yes, anyway, other than that, we're all good. Um, so, hope you're all well. Uh, we're going to dive into um, the action this evening. Um, we are looking at the rise of one of the most popular, at the moment at least, one of the most popular... Um, model manufacturers who are ng models uh, we'll dive into who there are who they are what they're about and uh, the quality and you know, future releases um, that are going to be coming our way so wayne first of all how are you yeah good just dying in this heat and ready for so much need to sleep i feel like half shipwrecked today but yeah i'm here everybody as for spirit on the other hand ask me again at the end of the show good but, stuff yeah, good stuff. I must admit, it's uh, <clears throat> I said to you uh, off uh, off air that uh, I walked downstairs to go and have some food, and it was that cold that I felt like I needed to put a jumper on. I didn't because I was relishing the fact that it was cold. But we've had like every window open, and there's a really nice breeze at the moment. There's a lot of sea mist coming in, which is also going to cool things right down. So uh, yeah, really yeah. mucky, humid here still, which is you've just seen on the map there. We've been just absolutely thumped with thunderstorms, so. God knows what my now downgraded cabbage internet's going to be like tonight. This will be interesting. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, yeah, how, apart from obviously the weather and stuff, how's your weekend been? Yeah, chilled. You know, I spent most of it <laughs> watching the uh, Sim shows. It's been a nice, um, was it too hot to do anything? I'd garden, I do. I just thought I'm even looking at the lawn all this way. I'm going to be dying on the lawn. So. Mm. No, it was good fun. Good fun yesterday with the uh, with the flight sim stream. If you haven't seen that, I urge that you go watch the landing because <clears throat> I've never had that uh, happen to me for a very long time. But, uh, but yeah, three twenty. Yeah. I wanted to be a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, who'd have thought they uh, released a uh, hover yeah. version of the A three twenty Neo? That's all I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, let's say hello to uh, the folks that are in the chat. So we have Mark Jones, who says he always enjoys the shows. So good to see you. Hope you're well. Welshy Kev, always uh, ever present. Good to see you, Lee Class. Max is there as well. Don't have the thing tonight. So I can't really. Yes, I can. Just when you thought you couldn't do it, and uh, <clears throat> I forgot it was sat there in the inventory. Of course, Max is here. He was like the first one here two hours ago, something like that. Oh, since this uh, this morning, he'd been here, was he? Oh, just literally woke me. Must have woke up this morning and gone. Oh, <laughs> just, <laughs> yes, please. Um, right, who else have we got? We got uh, Paul Hussey. We're going to quickly run through the names here. So Paul Hussey, Dogwood, uh, Bernice Thompson. Hello to you guys. <clears throat> uh, well, she gave me said Sarah. Good evening, um, William and EV Aviation. Hello to you. Uh, Nonstop Dom. Hello, Dan Graham Photography. Good evening. Um, and anybody else that may be lurking in the background. Good to see you all. So. Uh, we're going to kick things off with sort of the who, what, when, why, whatever portion of it as to NG models. Um, I only found out literally just now <coughs> that uh, 
they're actually Chinese. I thought they were American. Don't know why. Yeah, uh, so was I. Um, I always thought they were American, unless they've got head offices in America. All the productions maybe done in China. I must swear, I have always read NG, unless it's all China based. I don't care because you can shed any, any more light on that one. Um, but yeah, I was the same impression as you. Yes, so it's, it's uh, surprised me that they they were uh, they, they were Chinese. Uh, yeah, Chinese. Um, but <clears throat> NG models haven't been around for very long. They've only been around from probably about 2017, according to their website. They don't have much info on themselves either, which mm. is a little bit frustrating <laughs> because you've got to kind of go off your own basic knowledge here. Um, but uh, since their inception in 2017, uh, they've obviously very, very fast become a, a very respectable model manufacturer of what you and I can describe as the finest quality of aircraft model um that I would say anybody lead, can collect i would definitely say the leaders in the one to 400 scale at the moment by far <clears> their triple sevens are just a, a step above anybody else's anything they do just seems to have that quality feel and we were about this just early on in the sim stream the boxes alone just a piece of artwork they put so much effort in everything and they do things in such mass numbers it doesn't seem like the quality control doesn't you think oh that is the quality control a little bit of an issue I've never done an issue with NG. I don't know if other people have, but in the comments if you have. But I personally, I've always received a NG models, which is just absolutely pristine. And you just think, wow, I mean. And for value for money, given Gemini are knocking out some old tunes back in what's dated, I would say, the early 2000s. And this charging the same amount as NG, you just think, sorry, but I know where my money's gone this month. Yeah, it's uh, it's a strange one with, uh, well, not a strange one. It's it's uh, they've almost like come out of nowhere, sort of thing. And then you know I've got you know, in front of me seven three sevens, which I think are probably the best ones on the market that you can buy, yeah. probably up there with potentially JC wings or something like that. Um, I haven't got triple seven, but the seven five sevens are easily the best in the market. Um, you say triple you know, sevens themselves, you know, a step above the rest. You know, they're they're doing the seven four sevens. Uh, they've got the SPs. Uh, I've got a Korean one somewhere. I can't think where it is, but that's also of the highest highest quality. Uh, Tristars as well. You know, find me a better Tristar somewhere in the world because you wouldn't be able to because NG models are. The NG were the first manufacturer to start doing this whole. You can see through the blades on the engines mm. uh, where Gemini and the other companies were still doing solid lumps of metal inside the engine casings or paint, <clears> like details on. You could actually see through the blades through with NG models, triple seven. And that for me, you just knew actually I, they've just raised the bar a whole different level. In a way, for me, they've caught Gemini sleep. <coughs> Gemini just thought they could keep pumping out this, you could say, inf inferior product now and keep getting away with it. And then NG have come along and went, I ah, don't think so. And people are said straight away, they're turning to NG if there's an option available, or even if not, because. The quality control and the standards of NG has just dropped so below par at the moment. Mm. If you spend sixty pounds on a model, NG is the definitely want to go for. I think uh, what what people love about NG models is the fact that you and I sit and we look at the new yeah. releases like we have done. Yeah, um, and we look at the um, the list from Gemini, from JC, uh, you know, JC Wings, uh, you know. Gemini, yeah, Gemini NG, you know that lot, mm. and then you you compare the list of what Gemini do, and they they put a little graphic up, and it's normally about eight or nine models. You then look at like social media and stuff. You look at what uh, NG models have got, and the list is endless. Mm. And it's not a case of um, you know, uh, it's not a case of oh well, we'll go back in time and we'll get like you know a Delta seven five seven, or we'll do something like that it's all current stuff yeah they were probably one of the first manufacturers that looked after riyadh air announced that they were going to do it something then get the 787 painted they looked took one look at that and went well people are going to want that in there and then they've made that model and everyone else went oh yeah we should probably we should probably do the same thing so for me they're kind of like the they they set the bar for what people want because i think mainly they look after the they look after the customer's needs people don't want to be buying a second concord from british Air. i mean you may very well do if you want the collection go for it but like nobody wants to buy a 747 british airways 
of a different registration unless you collect them. Nobody wants to buy, you know, you want a little bit of variety and you want something a bit different uh, to, to your releases. And that's exactly what NG models do. And it's a long list as well, not just eight or nine models. It's a, it's a huge list of private play, like private jets, which are also very much spot on as well. And on top of that, compare it to Gemini jets who want, you know, for a 757, they want like 40, 50 quid for it. You go to NG models and you can get it for like 30 pounds. The thing is with NG, there's not a month that goes by when there's not at least one or two items on that list you definitely want on your shelf. Where Gemini, you look at some of the months and you just think, oh, not another month of Emirates 380s or something like that. They seem to have their finger on the pulse when it comes to, like you said, the market, what people are wanting, what's current. They seem to be first to pull the trigger, especially when it comes to triple seven, seven eight sevens. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the 330s and with the 330 Neo ranges. I think that's going to probably be announced this year, if not next year. They just seem to be a little bit more proactive in regards to current. And like you say, even if they do a rerun like that Landor 777, it was called the front part of their front assist range, but it was the most stunning model I've seen probably for a long time, even though it never the Landor livery never went on a 300 777. NG made it feel like it actually did because it just belonged and the quality of it was so high. Mm. And that's that's I think that's what brings a lot of people um to NG models is the 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 good sort of the really good quality uh of of what they're what they're doing. Um you know if if you were lucky enough to go to um the uh, the task fair up at Manchester there was uh, on um on display, there was uh, um, the new molds for the 747-8 freighter and the passenger version, which look stunning. Like, I mean, honestly, absolutely stunning. When you look at them close up, like, pictures do not do it any justice. That Jet 2 they've just announced, you, we spoke about this before the stream started. I saw that on the list and thought, that sitting on somebody's desk on a stand, that will be an absolute belt, especially if you've flown on it this year on holiday. Mm. It's pieces that, yeah, it's going to be about 104. I think the price tag about that's 109, 110 quid, but money well spent because you're not going to get a better Jet 2 757 on the market. Oh, God, no. I mean, literally, the, the, the thing is, when you've got, uh, <clears throat> when you've got um, manufacturers like Gemini Jets, mm -hmm. Recently, I think during the last month or so, they released a, a, a I think it's a Delta seven six seven four hundred, which is great because you don't really see a lot of yeah. seven six seven four hundred, but a lot of people were noticing it was very tail heavy. Yes, so I it saw was the imperfections. Which mm -hmm. like for Gemini, they just go, "All oh, right, well, I mean that's not Gemini, so I'll put that one back for a start." But let's say you know, let's say uh, if they were releasing a new batch of like Delta A two twenties, right? Mm. It's almost like they don't they don't look at it and go, "Well, we'll make sure it's perfect, and that, that people will be happy with it." Rather than the fact that when you put it down, it sits very tail heavy. It seems to be that Gemini's <clears throat> quality control, and it's been out this for I would say since during COVID. It seems to start a slippery, a real slippery slope. And I said to you, for me, when it hit home was when I got that flyby dash here. And I took it out of the box and the whole thing just dropped to pieces back in the box. Mm. And I, went, I was stood there holding this body. And I was like, what the... <clears throat> and I was like, that is not good. And Gemini seems to have gone down this whole slippery slope now for a while. They're doing the models, what people want. But they're, I would say the castings are now, a lot of them are tired. They need retooling. Mm. A lot of the quality control now is just... It's like they can't be bothered anymore. It seems like the heart's not in it anymore. So whoever's... <laughs> Factoring for them, just don't seem to care. Where NG seem to have that little bit more of a, you can do personal touch where you can do the whole points thing. You got a little card in the box, you can register that card for points. And every so often they do the points giveaways where you can transfer the points into free models on the NG website. So there's incentive there also to buy NG because maybe you said, what after buying two or three models, you could get a free model out of it just through the point system. And that's what I was going to uh, mention was the fact that you can do um, you, you've got the, the this like membership almost mm -hmm. that you know will allow you to 
you, you like a, almost like collecting nectar points, right? Yes. Where you know you uh, you go and um, buy models that are NG, you collect these points, and then you in the end you can redeem the points and get yourself a free model. And, and we're not like, who talking, else? Is and we're just not talking about warehouse clearance models either. We're talking about oh no yeah not top, not the ones top. you just chuck up new no, you know, no not ones you chuck away these are like stuff that's really just been released like yeah. for free because you've redeemed mm -hmm. your points it's gemini jets don't do it i don't think anyone else does it i mean someone no. can prove me wrong but yeah you know uh you'd be looking at literally just from what i can recall just ng models that give you this point option that you know you can just redeem yourself a free model and the point of good, and the point of good quality value as well. You don't just get one or two points. You get like twenty five points, thirty points per model at a time. So if you and I think their lowest started. I think it's seventy five points for their cheapest model, three B model. Yeah. Then it goes up to like 100, 200 points. So if you've got five or six Gemini models in your collection, you're going to be lapping all the way to the points bank. And they do. I think it's every three quarter months to quarterly. So. It's not you're not waiting long, but in that time you probably bought another four or five Gemini models anyway. So if you collected them up throughout the year, wait till the end of the year, you could bounce all them in for one or two, probably two or three models for just by exchanging your points, just through the amount of volume that you produce, mm. the amount of points that you're going to have in them boxes, them little cards. It definitely worth sort of doing it. Let's take a look at some of the molds that we've got here. We mentioned a few of them, uh, and I, in the time that you were talking about um, the the point system, um, I've collected a few sort of pictures of said molds. We'll go for the seven five seven to start. Uh, these are blank molds, but these give you an idea for what they look like, and then you can put your own imagination to airlines um, onto them. So here's the first one. So obviously, this is with the uh, the. Uh, Pratt and Whitney engines, which obviously you'd get this with Delta and uh, potentially the old United Airlines before the merger with Continental. But just how good does that look? Absolutely brilliant, fantastic. I said with that with a Jet Two livery on, and no doubt they've got the that they're doing the silver one, the holidays livery won't be far behind it, or even that the not Iceland Air specials. <laughs> it's like take my wallet. Lynn, you were the man. Give him his wallet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, they obviously come with different uh, different engine ranges. Of course, the uh, ones with winglets here have the Pratt and Whitney engines, but you do have the Rolls Royce as well. Which, I mean, yeah. honest to God, that looks amazing. Just as that, just as a mold as it is, and when you look at it in person, um, which I say, luckily, if if you went to the task fair, you have been able to see these in person they do not do it justice it looks phenomenal it is literally like taking the real plane and it's it's looking like it should do just in the smaller scale but it looks fantastic the detail on it is brilliant uh, like i said pictures won't show it too much but there are little details on there that just show it off very very nicely and it's you know i can compare it i've got a, a an eastern 757 in one 400 scale and it's uh, all chrome and stuff in the chrome livery. And it's it's beautifully done. And it looks like it should do. It's looked like how you should imagine a 757 should look. I would say out of all the molds I've ever seen for a 757, 1 to 200 and 1 to 500 and 1 to 400, that is probably the best and most refined I've seen ever. I, I, I would have to agree. I'd have to agree. It, it's I've, I've always said... And I will continue to say um, that NG do by far the best models in terms of the molds and stuff. I mean, you can you can compare like the the 330s to like Gemini. It is quite close. Um, I think NG is probably a little bit better, but with the triple seven, easy like the best ones out there. 757s, easy the best ones out there. 737s, easy the best ones out there. You can go even further than that and go A320s, you know, the, the standard and the Neo versions. Looks amazing. The trip, and I said I was coming back then, but the 777s are just a world leader. 
you can vouch for that because like I say yeah. I don't have one. I'm due to get one at some point. I've got 300 as well packed up at the moment because when I um, had the decorators in, but um, absolutely stunning. They weigh a ton as well. The trim mm. it's always caught me by surprise. That did the weight in the casting, and you think that's quality solid met, die cast metal. That it's not your cheap stuff. It's not your plastic wings. It's solid. Mm. Bosch Camp says, uh, you can see they spent money and time uh, getting tooling correct to produce these amazing molds. Yeah. And it's not like we as model collectors, we ask for much. <laughs> but NG models have like, they, they also, do you know what it's like? They've looked at the, the market over the years. They said they've only been around from about 2017. So they must have really looked into the market and gone, there's a lot of things, a lot of, like, a lot of complaints about aircraft arriving broken or the you know, a lot of people moan about, for example, like you can, you can just about see it. You see the 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 this bit here. Yeah. A lot of people moan about that because this is basically almost like just gluing it in. So almost like you could just take the wings off. Whereas some uh, some of the molds for some of the models they have. Um, Yeah, it's a bit different. You can't see it on this one it's because it's integrated within the wing. It's so it's like a push in rather than a sort of thing. It's 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 interesting, but I think NG have like looked at the um the market and gone. There's a lot of complaints. We have got to give you know give the consumers what they want and put a lot of time and effort into it. And then when they come up with a formula that's how they're able to pump so much out in terms of the models and stuff. Cause like we said, new releases and stuff, you go through their social medias, fucking loads of them, like loads of them that are like on the list. Whereas Gemini two, three, four, five models at a time sort of thing. So it's, yeah, it's uh, it is crazy. If you've got any questions, by the way, in the chat uh, about NG models or whether you want any opinions on particular models, uh, throw them our way and uh, we'll answer them throughout the uh, throughout the show here. We're on to about half past eight this evening. So, um, yeah, get your questions in and we'll do our best to answer them. Um, but, yeah, so the, the 757, I'm very much looking forward to that, very much looking forward to when they start releasing them. Another one that they've released, <clears throat> and it confused you and I. <coughs> Bloody frog in my throat. Um, it confused you and I because we were discussing which... 737 it was turns out it's a 737-600 and there you go Absolutely. another one of their re latest releases that they're going to be doing i'm envisioning this in scandinavian livery and i'm telling them take my money because it looks it will look amazing again they've just absolutely nailed the shape of the 737 they look at the wing even the, like the little the vortex bits on the wings Mm. the whole the shape of it the whole it's just it's just refined casting at its best and i think this is where i agree with what kevish just said there it looks like ng's run by collectors so they know what the collector wants because they want that themselves so they will give you what you they expect to have i guess and this is where it seems to be the care and the whole i don't know it just seems to be they got something going here they know they're not a good thing so why would you lower your standards again just keep on raising the bar higher and higher because you will end up then winning the market share which i think in one the 400 they're probably already doing now mm. <clears throat> yeah and uh like i said there, there's many airlines you can think of in like so mm. we did on the on the flight sim um fly globe span uh yeah fly globe span and you picture that livery on this model and people will go absolutely potty for it and they'll go take my money take my money that to me is if you if you've got people talking and people are like literally take my money you know you're onto a good thing like you know you're onto a good thing and ng models i i could speak forever in in praising them for what they do because i think their work is fantastic and i think a lot of manufacturers could learn a lot from them yeah. um but um to i know they focused on the one four hundred scale models to start with mm. but what i'm very excited about is the fact that they're now diving into the one two hundred scale range yeah that 
I mean, I'm not a collector of one of 200, but looking at the 757s and even this, do you know what I mean? I'm probably mm. be tempted to buy one or two because even if you just have them as the shelf display pieces, desk pieces, mantel pieces, they're going to look so good in, in any room. You just think, why wouldn't you? Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's funny. It's funny because looking at um i'm just uh just i'm preempting uh answering a question here um which uh carl crawford has very kindly put in to where was it i'll let you answer first wayne if you know there we go yeah. uh he's asking where the best place is to buy british midland models from that's a hard one that because there hasn't been a few bmi stuff done for a while i would guess ebay straight away just put in that as a search see what comes up um airspotters.net is always a good one because they do a lot of the second hand market models uh so anywhere that's got a large pre-owned collection um bedford diecast try him out but ebay i was definitely your first protocol i'm not seeing bmi stuff for a good while yeah so i'm having a look and it's funny because it depends on your range of mm -hmm. how much you want to spend. But NG models, <laughs> um, let me just grab the picture because this was quite a rarity. And even this one got people talking um, back in the day. Let me have a look when it came to, uh, to tuition. A little bit on the pricey side. That's nice, though. What would you think? I like it. I really do. And that's just me being biased again. Um, definitely worth, I'm trying to think where I saw one of them just a few weeks ago. Definitely eBay, Carl. Definitely eBay. Because I, I'm trying to think when this was released. Was this, this earlier this year or was it last year? Not sure. Uh, this is just purely from a um, mm -hmm. uh, in the regular brands when that was released. Um, Definitely try eBay, that is for uh, sure. And then try airspotters.net if not. They do large pre owned section bits. Um, but it's absolutely stunning aircraft. It's base delivery, but the actual detail on it is just second to none. Oh, yeah. Um, if you just bear with me. Um, yep, yeah, ideal. That's what I wanted. Um, yeah, do you know what? We could literally do a show of like questions and like people want to like buy particular airline models. Um, however, again, sticking with NG models, and this is just how good it is now becoming because you have a variety. If, you, if the basic mm -hmm. delivery doesn't suit you, you can always go for their A330. That was on my list at one point, and for some reason, I bypassed it. and yeah that's another stunner um, just look at the de just look at the detail I, so we come back to it because that's what it's all about in the model the detail the delivery application is crisp it's just everything is right about it there's no sort of what i call detail decal imperfections it's just right as it should be and I've, again i'm sure i've seen them air spotters recently if not Definitely eBay, Carl. There you go. A quick Google search or on eBay is normally some of the best places to uh, mm. have a look for some uh, for some older sort of models and stuff. The shops are great for new releases because that's what they're getting through the warehouse as it comes in. As pre-owned, it's just pop luck. Um, I think we spoke about this in a few shows ago, where some of the models are like rocking horse poop I find, where they now fetch like triple the amount that you literally pay for them. Yeah. At the same time, um, kind of, um, yeah, um, it's hard to say. It's just the second hand market's a fickle market. You get a lot of models that have been massively overdone where you think one person puts something on eBay and then somebody gets big money for it, and then suddenly you find a flood, it floods the market, and suddenly you've got like 10 on suddenly from nothing. Um, two seconds ago, I'm just going to stick a light on. To get a light. Yeah, he's going to stick a light on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, being my stuff, I'm guessing it'll be high demand stuff still. 
because it's UK and it's a lot of the UK collectors still want that thing. But at the same time, it's not one of what I call like Iceland there. There seems to be certain carriers like Emirates Iceland there that fetch top money no matter what. I would say BMI is one of them sort of people want, but would they sort of go out and pay big money for it? So you might get lucky and get at a decent price. Mm. Just one more to show, because uh, Carl apparently wasn't very happy with the livery. He says, no, no, that's horrible. Um, so here we go then. That's not my cup of tea, but definitely worth, yeah, actually now I've seen, yeah, sorry. I'd, I was looking at something else there. Uh, <laughs> I've got my phone up in here. I'm looking at on eBay. Um, but yeah, um, that I like. That I remember seeing these at Teesside Airport. Again, prop aircraft. It's decent. And I think um, it, I would say they're probably about 30, 40 quid on a good day. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, these are, these are, that to me is stunning. I'd buy that. Yeah. If you gave me, if you gave me that, I would like you said. Oh, do you want that? I'd be like, I'd snatch your hand off. Yeah. It's also made Carl very happy, so we can end the end that on that one. Yeah. Just good stuff. So yeah, have a look on eBay. Have a look on Google. You find some really out like wacky websites that will have models on, but you also have to learn one or two. Even try to. Facebook Marketplace because I've found a lot recently. There's a lot of people posting on there, and there is Facebook groups now as well. Mm. I doing model buying and selling trading mm. where you don't have to they the most of the rules are within them groups is you don't put that stuff on there with stupid high price otherwise you will literally just get your foot all tarred back for it because they don't like it on there so people go on there with a sensible price for a rare hard find models and you might get lucky absolutely um there's a question in there as well from gail who uh, has asked, where is it? Uh, evening, by the way. And also, a name I've not seen for a while. So let's say hello to Michael Painter. Haven't seen his name yeah, pop up for a hello, while. Hello. So very good to see you. Hope you are well. Um, Gail's question uh, was, what's been your favourite model uh, to uh, that you've purchased? I can answer, well, I have, I've got many, and I can't really sort of bring them up to show or whatever, but that's fine. Um, I'll go with my first one. Say this is one four hundred from. Oh fuck! Who's it from? It doesn't say. I've got the box somewhere, but I can't think where it is. Let me just adjust the uh, thing here because you're going to need to see the detail. There we go. Um, hang on. Wrong way, maybe. There we go. Now we're cooking. That's beauty, that. The hibiscus livery on the uh, Malaysian 747 is one of my favourite purchases because I got this from a car boot sale. Do you want to know how much it cost me? 20 pence, 30 pence. No, two two quid. Ah, uh, deal. Two quid. So, uh, as I say, some people don't really know what they're selling. So, yeah. So, that's one of my all-time favourites uh, that I've purchased because, again... Yeah. <sighs> Who is it? It, it? It's not Gemini because it doesn't look right to be Gemini. I can't think. I can't think. Uh, possibly Dragon. Not Phoenix. Possibly. I'm not sure. I'm not or, sure. Um, or Phoenix. I don't think it's Phoenix. I don't think it's Phoenix. I know the mold. I know the mold. I can't think who it is, though. JC Wings? No. Nah, do you know what? I'll have to have a look. I'll, I'll take a picture later. And I'll Dragon look. was one of the manufacturers which now they they were expensive back in the day. Now you can pick them up for literally a couple of quid if you want. They're a funny brand where they've gone from top to bottom in mm. no time. And if you want to start up a collection and you're not really fussed about the high-end detail, I would say Dragon Wings is something to look at because they're not bad, but yeah, it's cheap and cheerful. There is a reason why I'm still blurry because I still haven't finished. This is probably my one of my absolute favourites. Obviously, I've shown this off many, many times. But that is the the Antonov two T five from Aero Clicks, which you can get for about forty quid now, good which isn't actually that. too bad. It's massive, so it will do you some good. And I've noticed the Herpia and 225s are also coming back down in price from their stupid thing after 
bot and the real thing was destroyed. They yeah. average around about 60 quid now and want the 400 for a solid guy, Diecast 1, and I think it's Gemini as well. And I'm sure they did a run a couple of months ago of Gemini's and N225 where some of the so much of the proceeds were gone to the Ukraine appeal as well without getting political. But I just remember Gemini just done something recently with the AN 2225 in one the 200 scale. I have many others that are uh, that are some of my favourites, but it would mean I'd have to sift through them all. I have uh, the same colours, but on the Antonov 124, and I also have the Volga Dnieper, <clears throat> same sort of size as the Antonov 225. Um, um, yeah, Volga Dnieper 124 as well. S actually, I can see it. It's up there. Yeah, I've got it. Um, so yeah, what about you, Wing? What, what's your favourites? It's hard to pin it down because there's so many nice ones. <laughs> I would say um, I've got the soft spot for the Phoenix Virgin Atlantic 350 1000 I got because it was the Rainbow Edition, which was done in very, very limited numbers. And it was done purely on where Virgin Atlantic were done it. And I think it was like 40% of the proceeds to an LGBT charity, which was sort of close to my heart. So um, for me, it was that probably just purely just more for more emotions than actual um, quality. It is a good model and it's hard to find, but now it's very hard to find. I think it was done like, I think it was limited to about 500 or something. And it was some of the gentleman that it did through Phoenix. So just for that whole connection, um, you can find them still. Um, but yeah, that one has probably got to be my first ever model, but just purely out of sentimental reasons, not being Emirates A380. Emirates, Emirates, I think we all start on a 380 somewhere. Mm. I think so. I think, like I say, <clears throat> we've discussed it many times, but you can pick up yeah. A380 models like dirt cheap nowadays. Yeah. Like proper, proper cheap. Um, yeah. I still feel like I'm not sharp enough. Not um, that it matters too much. And I'm sure Kev will literally sit there and go, well, no, make it blurry because we don't want to see your face. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but yeah. I the <clears throat> name my most favourite was that um you know people back quite back, back, back in the beginning of the year but the ice lake and uh, seven five seven that I got in the um northern light slivery um I got it cheap at twenty seven quid so again I think that became one of my favourites as well. Mm. <coughs> Sorry, I've just Kev uh, has just said that I get the Facebook message. He has sent me something Ooh. probably the other day because I haven't. Uh, how did you, yeah, there you go. Okay, it says, how did you know what I was thinking? <laughs> because I just do. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Uh, that's cool. So Kev just sent me a load of, well, he just sent me, sent me earlier, sent a message today. Uh, but load of pictures of um, his brand new display case with the models that he's got. Very nice. Yeah, nice, man. I like that a lot. Really, man, like that a lot. that's a man with style and man with uh, pride. It is. It is indeed. Uh, Carl also saying thanks for the uh, information. So that is absolutely fine. Uh, Flying Shamrock, good to see you. Uh, he says I've got an Antonov 124 model from Antonov Company, so I didn't need to pay. Brilliant. Oh right, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, the pictures that Kev sent me is only a tenth of his collection. I'd need like two houses if I was going to do that. But, <laughs> but yes, and lots of people saying uh, two pound for the uh, uh, Malaysian 747. Absolute Charity love. shops are a good place. I'm finding um, at one point there was a lot of people, unfortunate, <clears throat> it's as nice as I can. There was a time where charity shops were getting a lot of models through because there were families were just getting rid of stuff that uh, unfortunately my family members may have passed on or gone to care homes. Mm. You know, charity shops they're going through the charity shop system that's where they don't know what they're selling and i think that's still carrying on a little bit at the moment so it's always sometimes worth looking in the most odd places for these models so you never know what you might find there's there's um there's, there's a bit of satisfaction about buying off of people that don't know what they're selling um so for example i know we're, we're, you know we'll, we'll come back to ng models in a minute um but the the volga Dnieper, um antonov 124 came from uh ebay um and i don't know how no one had bought it but it was on ebay for a tenner 
buy now price with free postage, right? So I thought I'll quickly have nosy like what other people are selling it for. And it was going for like maybe four or five times that. And they were like, I'll just make sure it's actually a buy now price and nothing. And it was. So I literally <laughs> just read, yes, please. So for like 10 quid, it's got the model that's pretty much the same size as the Antonov 225 that I got. Other than that, I've picked up a Golf Air 737 um, for a fiver. Um, I've also picked up, uh, I've not got any here to sh Oh, the Iceland Air Heckler Aurora 757 I have behind my monitor. Um, I picked that up for, again, another boot sale thing for four quid. Wow, that is a bargain. One 200, you know, resin model from, I think it's Herper, Herper Wings possibly, um, four quid. So there is there is something that's quite satisfactory, like the satisfaction you get from it, from buying from someone that has no idea. <laughs> I think no idea. Well, they just don't care. They just want rid of it. It might not have even been theirs as well. And I think that's probably half of what happens. Absolutely. So, yeah, so it's, uh, it is quite interesting. Um, if what I want, well, what we want to know in the chat, just while we carry on, um, is what's the cheapest model you've bought and where'd you get it from? Whether it's the internet, whether it's uh, eBay, boot sales, charity shops, wherever. Uh, let, let us know your cheapest model and where you got it from. Um, so back to back to NG models, but there's one mold that we haven't looked at yet, uh, which I am, again, I'm very excited for this because I find the Gemini ones, there's something quite off about them. I don't know what it is, and I can vouch for that. I've got a Silkway uh, one, and it is lovely. There's something about it that I can't work it out. However, you look at these ones, bang on. <laughs> It is the uh, the seven four seven dash eight freighter and the passenger versions. Look how good they are. That will be a I would say a market leader straight off the mark. It's going to be a game shifter for seven four seven standards. You just look at it; everything looks right. The proportion <clears> of it, the shape of it. Because I know, I think it's maybe Phoenix. Um, Kev might want to uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but. They do a 747, but the nose is so wrong on it. And this just looks just accurate as hell. It's as close as you can. You're going to get it. Stunning. It, yeah. 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 Just what else can you say? I mean, you, you imagine all the liveries you can find. I mean, one I'm hoping that they will do, and I'm sure they will do, is the British Airways World Cargo livery yeah. that they had on the 747 8 for a, a while. I can't think of the time, time frame. That's the the fans are on livery on that is going to look absolutely cracking. You, you imagine the look, just something as basic as the Lufthansa livery. Mm. It's going to stand out like a sore thumb, but it's going to look amazing, like in a good way. It's going to stick out like a sore thumb in a good way. And cargo it's just Lux on the uh, cargo one, cargo Lux, all the cargo Lux model, yeah. like the deliveries and stuff. Absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible. And again, these were at the, the task fair, so. Wow. I sort of had a really good look at them. I managed to convince the the guys to let me hold them to have a good look at them. And, and they're they, very they are heavy. They've got some weight to them, but the detail on them is second to none. And I applaud NG models for going down this route. Their 747 SPs are fantastic. Very much recommend. You can actually pick up, I think, if memory serves me correct, you can pick up a uh 747 SP from ng models in any livery mine's korean i think i got korean air uh 747 sp and i think it was about 35 quid which is an absolute steal yeah that's a good price a very good price but it's very good it's very good to pick something up like that and you know a quick uh quick look on let's do it let's have a quick nosing on ebay um if i go for ng models um, and if we go for buy now, and if we go for lowest price, literally, it is it is so like unbelievably cheap, like a cheap price. For example, uh, if you wanted um, a Vistara uh, seven eight seven, uh, let me just take that off screen so we can actually uh, 
There you go. So do you want a Vistara 7, uh, 787, which I do. I do want a Vistara 787 from NG Models. It would cost you 30 quid on eBay. Um, That's good. It's, it's honestly really good. A Garuda Indonesia 777-300 with the mask livery, 34 95 plus £5 posted, so 40 quid, which is yeah. honestly, like, it's nothing. It's nothing even, to like Gemini jets and stuff like that. It is so good for price. Even the European car carriers tend to set, fetch a fair price for NG as well. We mm. don't do this whole like sort of hundred, nearly hundred quid. Like I think obviously the harder to find the reserve, but because they're Gemini, have a habit of doing reruns. They tend not to sort of do that as such as more like Gemini, where Gemini might do a run of one model, not be it. You won't see it again. In history, where Gemini uh, NG, if it's popular, will do a rerun maybe six months down the line again, or they'll do something very similar to it, it might just be a different reg. So you're never going to miss out on a particular livery unless it's a special livery. Mm. I mean, I'm looking on it now, there's a British Airways one on there, which is really, really nice 39 quid. That's good. Do you know what I mean? Like trying to get one from Gem like Gemini Jets, you're paying like maybe just a little bit more than that. I mean, I'm not a fan of the one model that we would be here on the current triple seven. Don't even get me started on that one. But the NG models version is a beauty. Oh yeah, they made it look good. And the one thing about NG and Sarah will kill me for saying this, they've actually made a Ryanair Max look beautiful and actually look good. And when I have one, it's still on my hit list. Uh, and the seven three seven eight hundred that they've done, it, they've made Ryanair look good. It's like, is this possible? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just want to bring this up from Kev. We mentioned about obviously if you know we want to know about like your your bargain buys for models and where you got them from. Well she Kev. With uh, best bargain I've had is the AE uh, the Etihad A three eighty I sent Tom for the charity stream. Went and bought one for myself and they sent me two instead. Nice. They're not cheap those, so well done. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Um, yeah, I mean, <sighs> this is a huge game changer. Yeah. Massive game changer because people know the quality of NG models. They're going to look at that and they're going to go, again, we say it all the time, take my money. There's going to be one person that won't be happy with you when you buy start buying these. And that's going to be possible because their bag's going to weigh a ton by that minute. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely, yeah. I definitely at least want one of these in my collection. I know there's a lot of people who just collect 747s, and I think it'll be the rest will be going in the bin once this comes out because it's just going to move them all to one side. Mm. Uh, yeah, the postman will have a right good job on their hands delivering all these. But um, yeah, you, I don't have any bad things to say, right? About ng models or anything else but when you when you're up close with the with the mold yeah and stuff <clears throat> i i sat there and was in awe and i was like let me take it up because <laughs> it was it was really really nice but um they, the 757s are going to be game changers i'm very excited to see where they go next for the one two hundred scale yeah. uh i would imagine possibly oh, what what i mean what would you like to see as a one two hundred from from NG? ATR six hundred log in there, <sighs> and Sim want the four hundred as well. Mm. And rumors, I don't know how true this is because you can only pick up on the grapevine that there is an ATR range coming. I think they've already got an ATR range from my rightly. It's a lot. They've done a lot of the Chinese ones though. Oh. They are looking at the European ones next, so we could see something from Air Lingus. Regional Logan, um, so that would be another game changer because the only ones you can get in Logan at the moment is a Gemini Saab, which is just wrong in all counts. It's a horrible model because mm. it looks the size of tanks on it. Um, and the Snap Fit one of the 200 models as well. So if they do do something like this, it will be a game changer. Another, how many times have we said that tonight? We'll continue to say it. But like, if you're into your business jets, and one that I'm very 
Oh, I can't even save it. That's annoying. <laughs> um, can I, I mean, see? some people could say NG still have the flaws. They're still a T. They're still in what I call the baby stages of a company. But for me, I've never personally had again any issues with NG, and I will never say a bad word against them because I've just had nothing but positive experiences with this company. Mm. Just trying to see if I can grab a uh, picture. In fact, you know what? We'll leave that. Let's come to this one instead. So not only do they do uh, your um, airliners and stuff like that, uh, they also do, by the way, if you're enjoying the stream, do consider leaving a like on the stream. Um, they also do private jets, but in one 200 scale only. And they are quite cheap. They're about 50, 50 quid, something like that, which isn't, isn't horrific. But when they look like this, It's it's hard to say no. Right? Uh, How nice is that? Yeah, look at the night detailing on the tail on that. That is just supreme. That is, uh, yeah, mega. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Not to mention, uh, there are other um, jets they do. Obviously, that's the Gulfstream G550. Uh, they also do um, the Dassault Falcons as well, which I think, because I've not seen any others in the market, so I, they may possibly be some of the uh, the only ones out there. And that wouldn't they been... look stunning? Like, oh my god, do they look good? What's impressed me about our model that wouldn't be an easy model to do because you've got the blended colours coming into each other, then mm. in the blue, but they've nailed it, and that's what's impressive about it. Just trying to uh, just trying to sort of find a, a different one that we can. They also have, of course, your your CRJ two hundreds <clears throat> in one two hundred scale as well. They are also very very good. Um, I'm just trying to find what can we what can we show off? There's one I've been praying for, and that's a dash eight. For do a dash eight. Oh, a dash eight would be really good. Yeah, really really good. Uh, why can't I? Because the Gemini one. Pardon my French here is P Paul because it's just <laughs> it's just an awful model now. It's a right kangaroo ball sack. Yeah, it's not the best. And like I said, when you take one out of the box and it doesn't break your hands, it puts you up in model even more. So mm. but to see a dash it and they'll fly because of NG or um maybe is it, it withdraw um how we pronounced it last week. Well, uh, Jack pronounces it as uh, Widower, 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 Widower. That'd be a really cool one to see. Looks there. Uh... It's very difficult to find a picture of, or one that I can save of uh, what I'm what I'm trying to look for. Um, in fact, let's go for. I can't even go for that one. Sorry, let's go for that. Screw it. Let's go for this one. I've just seen him okay. down on legs near me. I was like, oh, here we go. I've got Tom's issue from last night. <laughs> no, we're, uh, we're still good. So, yeah, so the, the private jets and stuff are all like very, very nice. Here's the other Here's the other one. Look at that. A Falcon. A Falcon 7X, I think it is, or something. Very nice. Yeah, I'm Falcon sure 7X. They've done the, um, do you know the one that goes into London City from the Shell um, team? The Shell, yeah, Shell Aviation. Yeah, I'm sure they've done this one as well. Just trying to uh, get the picture back of the um, CRJs to show them off. They got one in there, a couple of British Airways ones, which are quite nice. Um, but yeah, the, the to me the Falcon, mm -hmm. the Falcon Seven X, or just the the private jet range that they have, they are absolutely stunning. And all available in one two hundred scale as well. well. So you're getting a lot for your money. And what I like about that is that third engine on the top of the body, how it just blends in with the casting. There's not like that sort of gap that sometimes you get and then sort of quest uh, cheaper castings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one solid mould. Um where the frig is it? I'll have to search for it. Uh Oh, here we go. Uh, so, d depending on what you 
what you rather. Um, right, here we go. So yeah, let us know what you think about the private jet range from NG models in the chat. Here come the CRJs, starting off with that. Beautiful. Just, just um... Wow. Look at the detailing. It doesn't look like it's a thick plane either, which is what yeah. you get often with other like companies and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Just look at, just look at the minor details on there. That landing gear is spot The landing gear is spot on. Yeah. They really do pay very, very good attention to um the model going, stuff like that going back to the logan saab someone with gemini honestly they had landing gear it looked like from a triple seven on it the wheels were huge they were oh, yeah. just bang on in everywhere here's another variation people know i'm a big fan of the chelsea rose <laughs> but how nice is that it's nice, yeah, very nice. Look at the, it's it's the print as well on the detail, on the tail fin as well. How refined and sharp that them the decals are on the paintwork as well. Because you get some models, I think, especially Herpia, where the decals feel rough. They look sort of faint in places. Where that's very vibrant. It's you can see the quality in the what they're doing. Mm. I mean, it's just, just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So if we're not selling you mm. NG models enough tonight, <laughs> we'll be happy to keep going for as long as we need to. But um, hopefully, I mean, we haven't spoken too much in terms of the, the history because we can't really find anything to do with the history, but we can talk about the current side of things. and They are doing a fantastic job. And long may it continue. And the uh, last lot of releases are just as exciting as the last lot. And... Um, I know from last year, towards Christmas, I would say November to December's releases are always hot because they always stick to something special and you get some Christmas livery probably announced. I would guess it could be in November's releases, but they'll be in the shops before Christmas, so don't worry about that. Right. Or November, um, in October's releases for November, and so they do do some exciting stuff. Yeah. So... We've we've used it. Um, we've we've used the time to kind of speak about NG. We'll use this time now to kind of, if anyone's got any questions, like we did with uh, what Carl said about the British Midland models and what Gail said about uh, obviously our favourite models and stuff. We'll use this time just very quickly. Um, in fact, no, we won't do that. We'll just get your questions in anyway. But what we are going to do, and I don't have the graphic for it like, for some reason, because it's... Oh, no, yes, I do. Here we go. Uh, airline of the week. I haven't changed it. It's month. Airline of the month for Model Mania. Uh, this is the part of the show where we, uh, we we take a particular airline from around the world, and we have a look to find three models that we would suggest to you if you are looking to buy them now. One of us has done it sensibly, the other not so much. I've seen the prices of what people, what someone's uh, suggested, <laughs> Wayne. I thought if we're going high end today, <laughs> I may as well stick with high end. Well, especially with considering the way that uh, most people are like, yep, yeah, I'm going to be bankrupt by the end of this show because they're buying so many models. Wait till I see my lot then. Absolutely. So, the airline we've chosen tonight, uh, or for this show in particular, uh, we have chosen Etihad. Mm -hmm. uh, as we know, there are some very interesting models uh, that SE had have from various different makers, uh, whether it's your plastic snap uh, snap together models, your uh, your die cast models, or anything else. So we'll go with the non sensible route first, which is what Wayne's picked. Uh, <laughs> I'll bring the first one up. I've had to check to make sure there's no details on there, and there isn't in terms of like postcode or whatever. So we're all good. Um. Here comes the first pick that Wayne has gone for. Well, what can I say about that? It's just beautiful. It's Etihad had before COVID when we used to get a minute Heathrow. It's just, look at the livery on that. It's just, and then the stand and just the finish of the 3A. It's just, it's worth every single penny in my opinion. It's a bit high end, yes, at dollars but you pay for what you get, and I bet that's where I was hen's teeth now as well to get all that. Mm. So, yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll get your opinions as well, everybody, in the chat. 
uh, as we throw the models uh, up onto the screen. Um, Darren Graham is a big fan of this. He says, oh my God, love it. Kev also says, love that one. Even the stand looks amazing. Yeah. Um, Caitlin uh, says, uh, Wayne, you've got Gail wanting it. <laughs> Dom's asked, Dom says, how much? I know. If you were living in a it's tent, high end. <laughs> you should try and just claim us when you started watching this. If you end up, end up living in a tent, it's not our fault, by the way. Yes. It's it's just thoughts and recommendations. It's not literally yeah. go buy it. Otherwise, you know, we're going to kidnap your dog. <laughs> you know, sort of thing. <laughs> um, but yeah. Lynn's Lynn, so, now currently digging my hole for my wallet. I can hear her. That's it. If you listen very closely, you can start to hear the squeaking of the wallet starting to wanting to open but can't because it's <laughs> blue shut. Um Carl Crawford says the colours are popping. Yeah. Uh Max says uh love the livery but I want to have it. Not until you donate that 50 quid first. Uh, Max that would go through your window probably take up next door neighbours in the whole street. Could you probably. imagine? Please don't buy it. Could you imagine the state of it after a, like two days or so there'd be like three engines missing, the tail would be somewhere down the in street goodness me um it's now worth two pound 90 instead of three. yeah two pound 90 at best soaking <laughs> wet it's worth two pound 90. um david bones asking what scale is it one to 200 one 200 scale so it is that'll be like a solid object oh uh interesting uh jim says check how much it originally was uh Holy crap. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. What's that? Let me uh let me blow this up a little bit more. It's just been reduced. I'm something stupid. Okay, so I've just whoa. <laughs> okay. So it does say you can save four hundred and eight dollars ninety nine cents. That's fifty eight percent off, which means it was originally listed, Wayne, for yeah. seven hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm walking out now. See you later, guys. I'm done. <laughs> That is not my doing. I said, Wowza. Hey. Literally. Literally. Yeah. 700 quid. It's a bargain then at that price. Uh, dollars not They're not worth Massively high end, that. Massively high end. So uh, so there is your one of your high end models. Probably most expensive model I will choose this year. Absolutely. For $700, I expect it to be the highest one you ever choose, period. <laughs> <laughs> right, on to your next one. A little bit cheaper. Yes. Um, and this is one that I was going to go for, but uh, I noticed that you got it. Uh, the Gemini Jets 1 400 scale. This is one of them that is as rare as heavy seat to find. But now it's a high demand model. It's still, I think, we're still finding some for seven cargo out there. Yeah, can somebody sort of maybe sort of be more no sort of correct me if I'm wrong? It's just again stunning. Look at even Gemini. I'm not a fan of Gemini 747s, I've got a mate. But at least the livery looks good on this aircraft. It's a weird looking triple seven. Triple seven, seven four seven. No, 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 no. It's a weird looking triple seven. Read, read, oh, read the. Oh, read the God, yeah, I didn't see that. Sorry, I, <laughs> oh. I was like, oh, okay, that's. Uh, I was like reading it out. I was like, uh, that's not a triple seven. Somebody's a. Uh, yeah. Oh dear. Um. Yes. So. Um. Yeah, the uh, one four hundred scale seven four seven uh, freighter. That's one of them that's hard to come by now, and they're probably selling it on with a little bit of profit. It's not massive, but it's it suits somebody's collection. They've got a model airport or whatever, and they want some more stuff for the car or something a little bit unique. So yeah, so I think it's great. I don't. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure they do. I'm not entirely sure they do fly. However, like I say, it is a very sought after model uh, mm -hmm. as well. And for a price of about 60 quid, yeah, there cool. may be one or two that are probably a little bit cheaper on eBay, but that one, you know, uh, that's still a very good price, uh, regardless. Uh, Welsh Kev also says, considering it's a model shop selling it, uh, you'd think they can get the title right. <laughs> yeah. That's when you know not to trust. Um, <laughs> not to trust them. Uh, Verwood Kitman, Steve Waldridge himself, says good evening all. Quick dip in tonight. Uh, hope you are all good. We are all very well here. Hope good you evening. are as well. Go on. 
But yeah, um, one of my favourites that I mean of the night, I would say, like as for like the IEF stuff, it's just like I say, it's what it is. It's seven four seven. It says on the tin. So it could be the angle, but mm. Carl Crawford says the nose looks too pointy. Yes, um, so I said going back to what we said earlier on, NG and now spoiling us. This is not one of their best castings. I'm not a fan of the Gemini 747. And I think they've shared this casting with Phoenix, which would explain why their 747 is so bad as well. Oh, yes. We all know about the Phoenix 747 models. <laughs> the fact yeah. that I bought, the, I bought uh, on eBay the uh, Super Tanker mm -hmm. version. And when it got to me, I must have had it for about two weeks and then sold it. This might shock some people, but I do not own one Gemini 747. Purely because I don't like the casting. I think I own a couple. I think one's a, one's a Virgin Atlantic one. Uh, a couple of British Airways ones, I think. Which is a shame because they've done an okay job of the 380. So you think... What, I, what, would, what would, in your opinion then, in terms of die cast, what would, who would you say have the best 747 mould? It's hard to pick at the Tricky, moment. Tricky, isn't it? <laughs> I, don't there is, I don't think there is one at the moment until NG start doing one 400. Um, 747 molds. Um, I would say you've just got to go with what there is. Phoenix is poor because uh, again, I believe what this it goes around the info that's going around is that they shared it with Gemini. JC Wings is not the best, but it's better. And yeah, I think just at the same times it's you just got to go what's on the market sometimes and stop being what you could say rivet pickers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it's frustrating, but I think it's because we've been spoiled by NG and we know how a model should look now. Once upon a time, we do just oh, that's what it's a model 747, great, and you just got it. Yes, so not the best mold, but if you're not bothered about it, still a very good buy, regardless. But if you're quite yeah. anal about the uh, the way that an aircraft looks in model form, like myself and Wayne, uh, probably least, want to stay clear of it. The livery looks okay on that. But yeah, the livery's great. The livery's fantastic. And it suits the 747 really well. Uh, Sorry, so well. Fact again. <laughs> Sorry. And your last one. Uh, which is the Aviation 400 Etihad A350-1000, which These comes in at a very good price. Of fifty-four pound ninety-five. These have just come out. They're a step above Phoenix, who's been doing a lot of the three fifty one thousand range. And I'm a fan of the Phoenix three fifty one thousand. I've got an A three fifty one thousand. These have just arrived in stock. I think it's ARD that's doing these. Aviation Model Retail Direct. Um they're doing Turkish Airlines, there's quite a few other ones you can currently get. This was I think it was released, I think it was July. Um this um so they will be available still in the 50 years. This aircraft was in Heathrow until they changed the 350 over to a 380 allocation. So this has been into the UK. Um, I just think it's 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 current, it's representable, it's a decent model. It's not NG standards, but it's but I would say it fits in between NG and Gemini. And very nice as well with the special livery on there as yeah. well. And the boxes are okay again. It's nothing special, the box, but in the day when they're in the display unit, does it matter? Absolutely. It's uh, it's a very good price for what you would find for a uh, a one four hundred, a three fifty one hundred uh, one thousand rather. Um, Carl says it's a bargain. Uh, Max says it's a stunning livery, and Caitlin says nice models. You've chosen Wayne. <clears throat> Okay, now away from the uh, sort of overly price. I say overly priced. Not overly priced. <laughs> Maybe the A three eighty was a little bit overpriced at seven hundred dollars, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I've gone for a little bit more of the uh, sensible range. What the hell? <laughs> Should we just take it off screen and just watch Wayne try to uh, catch a fly? Daddy Lomax is attacking me like hell here. Yeah. See, I tell you, it's not just me, right? It's no. not just me. I'm not bothered by them, but it keeps like landing on my leg, and I'm like, every time I've got to squash it, it's gone. 
<laughs> Whilst you do that, I have got a couple of, uh, well, sorry, three here as well that uh, I think are very reasonably priced. I've also kept them up on eBay as well, so I can also tell you how much they are. Uh, first one we're going to go for. Very nice. Is the uh, 787-10 in the green liner livery. Uh, you would look... Uh, this is PPC Holland. This is a favourite of the channel, uh, PPC Holland. Uh, they are very, very good with their models. Again, we've just, we've described them as ones that you would normally find uh, on aircraft that you buy from the in-flight mm -hmm. magazines and stuff like that. Um, if you wanted this, again, I can also vouch for the fact that these models are very good price, uh, for a, sorry, very good quality for the price that you pay. Um Michael Painter, just very quickly, says some great models there. Uh, thanks for the stream, but time to go now. Buy all. No worries, Michael. Good to see yeah, you. Michael. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you very, very soon. Um, so, yeah. So, PPC, we're, we're big fans of it on the channel. We mm -hmm. think they're very, very good quality models for the, the price that you pay for them. Um, and, of course very very well in terms uh, very well sized as well which is pretty decent um if you wanted this one this would set you back uh, on ebay it's on there right now you can get it within the next three days for postage uh 29.95 which i think is an absolute steal yeah i agree and like i say ppc holland not uh not too much you can say about it that is uh, completely mm -hmm. negative and it just looks great it's a lovely livery the uh, the wing flex is how to it's it just about right i would say yeah it's it, not stupid like uh some models have some like the 787 wing flex to be far too big and like far too stupid but i think this is just right and for anybody who's just watching the show maybe for the first time these are great off the stand if you've got kids and you want to hang these on the bedroom ceiling a little bit of fish and wire over the wings because of the lightweight plastic they work so well in that capacity as well definitely definitely so wayne's picked for the more established uh model collectors i've gone down the route of if you're collecting for the first time and you want to start off with something that's well priced but also going to be more bang for your buck uh this would be a very good way to to start with uh with etihad and there's obviously many different models that uh and liveries that you could collect for them as well which is always and dare cool. i say the word christmas is coming up guys as much as you might hear me saying this because i hear the word the end well. is nigh the end is nigh um, and at christmas wait, run so, away so as these are for anybody who's looking maybe for gift ideas <laughs> next few months so 29.95 will get you this yeah. which is uh which is quite nice um now i've also interestingly gone down uh, the same route as what you did with mm -hmm. um the uh the a380 however mm -hmm. Mine doesn't cost seven hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a special livery. I just like to set the bar high every now and again. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got a special livery on this one as well. Uh the uh, JC Wings um A three eighty from Etihad with the special London livery on it. Uh this is a little bit more sort of mid-range, I would say. I've gone for sort of the cheap, the mid-range, and then one that you would probably splash the cash on if you wanted to. Um a very good price actually for this as well because it looks fantastic. Um 60 pounds is what this will cost you. Gail's just bought one I can hear eBay going. That's it. If you listen very carefully you can hear the sound of uh, people falling on the floor, fainting in the fact that this is awesome. They'll be fighting over this right at this moment. There'll be nobody watching now. We're down to one viewer. That is yeah, good. down to one viewer, which means we can run off and do what we like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but sixty quid. This is. I think this is very good value for money. Yeah, definitely very good. JC Wings, I think, in the A three eighties are normally very, very good as well. I don't have one, but I have heard they are supposed they to be are very better good. Than Gemini's and um i've seen their singapore one up close and personal and it was a beauty mm. uh kev vouching for it as well it says that's good 60 quid for that and jc wings still much better than gemini i don't yeah. have a massive gripe against gemini's a380s but i think there could be a little bit of improvement it still looks good but not as good as i think it could be 
think it's Gemini, Gemini's custom was dated 2010, wasn't it, when A3 announced the project, or even before that. Yeah. So given Gemini's custom probably been around a while, this is, I think it was two years ago, announced this was going to come out, the JC Wings um, A3, A380s, and they have done quite a few, and yeah, this is one of their better deliveries, I would say, on the A3 that they've done. And it's, yeah, 60 quid for that is a bargain. Buy it, absolute, yeah, absolute bargain. If so, you want to start collecting today, there you go. Absolutely. So that's sort of the mid range uh, model that we would probably, or that I would suggest. Mm -hmm. And then I had a look to see about what you could spend your money on. And I could only think of one thing. Um, I know. We, you picked the A380 and A350, mm -hmm. but there was one livery that you didn't pick that I figured we can't not show it. Um, and I found the model mm -hmm. of it. You'll, you'll recognize it immediately. Uh, mm -hmm. As soon as I say A340 600, Formula <laughs> One livery. Oh, of course, yes. I wasn't a fan of this livery the first time around, but I remember seeing this quote came into Manchester a couple of times, didn't it? Mm. I've been a regular in Manchester. Um, yes, it's a beauty. A regular at Heathrow as well. I remember seeing this on many, many yeah. occasions. Um, so this one would be from, well, it's a 1 200 scale. It uh, advertises the uh, 2015 uh, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. I'm trying to work out the year from one start. Gordon Webber Dabby, so it's been around about that era, wouldn't it? Mm. This would cost you uh, £119.99, which sounds atrocious, but if you take in, into uh, consideration like a, a 1 200 scale Gemini A340 and things like that, you'd be looking at about 140 150 quid. It's Maybe a little and even the quality standard comes with it, which is trying to find a quality standard these days is hard. It's getting harder. So even getting that package there is a great start. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's well worth the money. Carl thinks it's well worth the money. Jim says it's stunning. Lynn is a huge fan of it. Kev says uh, that's a beaut. I love this one. Looks much better in real life. Photos uh, don't do it justice. It is a fantastic delivery. I think it's one of the the nicest sort of F1 liveries yeah. you could have, uh, barring obviously what Etihad have done near their 787 now as well. I think that's not too bad. Um, but uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, it's absolutely amazing, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's 119.99 is not a bad price, I don't think. No, I mean, you get a lot of these. Not, I've got a feeling that could be one of their models. Maybe it's a slow burner, but in another four or five years' time, when um, if ever, a Formula 1 ever pulled out of Abu Dhabi, it'd be worth triple what it, you pay for it now. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So there you go. That is the uh, model show for this month, I say. We'll be back again. Uh, I think it's was that three weeks' time for another lot of uh, model mania stuff. However, we're not done yet. Um, we've got one last segment to do, so let me just prep it. And we get to uh, absolutely roast. You see the food puns I've just put in there. Prep and roast. Um, because he's not here. But uh, it is, of course, the segment that everybody loves. Yes, of course. <laughs> Jack's decided to be in the uh, Ruby Murray house today as opposed to be on the show, so that is fine. So we get to absolutely roast him for his meals. We only got three today. Um, there's one There's one that I mentioned during the week on one of the flight sim streams that I said looked horrific. That's also on there. <laughs> These are interesting. Well, we're going to start with... Okay. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, hmm. Oh, oh. Was that last night's pizza? Is that something I threw up last night? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm hungry, but that's just put me off. 
<sighs> yeah. What is I'm, it? Oh. What's putting me off so much is <laughs> what's putting me off so much is if you look at the bottom of the plate, it looks very congealed. This chemical, right. the, this chemical expert is trying to work out that what that is now to make sure it wasn't legal. Oh, it's, I like I don't want to do it, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to if I blow the picture up. My, oh boy, that looks even worse. So. I've just got a biscotti for life. So the, the only thing I can I can say because I've I've got the picture of like uh, you know a bit more zoomed in I can do on on here. The cheese is melted. Progress. That's fantastic. That's about it. There's like a few strands of I believe tomato sauce. Jack, how are you still alive? Jesus. And what I can only describe as either burnt bits or that's the bottom of the pan as Jack scratched the hell out of it and put bits of the pan in the, the meal with did it. Did he put the plate in the pan? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, David Bowen says, what the hell is the flesh uh, what the hell is the flesh coloured thing at the top of the plate? Yeah. I'm, I'm I know that. Yeah, I know which one you're on about. That is uh <laughs> yeah, idea currently on his way around to Jack's. That does <laughs> now that I've zoomed in on it, it does look like the end of a penis. Um that is I'm assuming hot dog. It doesn't look very appetizing though, I'm i i must admit. That's one of the things you'd see at Halloween as like a prop. Scared <sighs> people. I mean it's like do you know like uh you know, like for the, the recycling and stuff, you get the food bin with the with the green bags that you put in, and you just you scrape all the food in, and when you look in it, it looks like it's all just been thrown together. This one of them cost a living moments where again where you just put a load of tin stuff together and hope for the best. Save yourself some pennies and reheat yeah. last week's food that you found in the recycling bin. Oh, 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 oh that's probably not one of the worst we've had, but it's up there. Oh. Yeah, it's up there. It's uh, <laughs> it's guess the meal, isn't it? So like, what is it? When you look at it from this angle, like from from this, if I'm looking at my screen here without actually zooming in on it, it's the bottom part of the plate that is making me really want to like because it just it doesn't look right. But it is I, melted cheese. I really don't like hot dogs anymore. <laughs> it is melted cheese. I can I can guarantee that. Um, so uh, so yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Now we move on to... It's cheese. I thought it was pasta. No, no. no the, the bottom part where it's all like, right. looks like it's congealed is uh, it's cheese. I, I generally feel like I want to be sick. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Right. Which one do we go for next? They're both the same. They're both the same. We may as well just go for this one. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, uh, mm. how, how, mm. that rice looks. And excuse my language coming into this bit. Fucking dry. <laughs> how does that come out of it? I just oh. believe that actually comes out of him. when it's. Oh, like, it's I, just like... <laughs> it looks like a farmer's field. Do you know, after the harvest in the summer, you left with that sort of dry, sort of, I don't know, whatever's left in the field. It's like the dogs left a whoopsie on the fucking plate. Uh, are them sausages even cooked? I don't know. <laughs> Is the rice even cooked? <laughs> That's oh, a bit poisoning on a plate. It's just like... Ten, way, how, ten ways to die you need, and that's one of them. I don't even think you need a fork and a spoon. I think you need a fucking chisel and a hammer. They look like missiles and sausages. I don't know. It's 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 a really strange meal choice. Like for, for me, I had uh, pork chops for 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 tea with uh, runner beans and mashed potato and gravy. Why is there a spoon? that's a normal meal? <laughs> hmm. It's just oh, it's making my mouth dry just thinking about it. You could pick it up with a shovel. Jeez. You could throw that con the contents of the yeah. plate against a wall; it would stick. 
Oh boy, Jack. It's strange. Brandon Plainspotter, 23. Good to see you. Hope you are well. Hey, Thanks Brandon. for coming into the stream. Unfortunately, Great. you've joined at a wrong time. Um, David Bone says, once, twice, three times a willy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, Carl Crawford oh, says God. prison food. Um, I think that's a step up from prison. I, th I think so. I think if you took that to court and said, "Look, if you reoffend, this is what we're going to give you," that'd put reoffending rates down. When you I think that would put that would probably put Jack in prison for impersonating <laughs> a chef. Dangerous to food hygiene. Oh. And sadly, it doesn't get any better. Because somebody really did leave a whoopsie on the plate. Oh, fuck you. Fuck it. Oh, at least the sausages are cooked this time. Oh. Well, they are, but it just it, it, This is the comment that I said the other uh, on one of the streams. It was where it looked like someone took yeah. a shit on his plate. Yeah. And this is this is that picture that I said that comment to. But yeah, the sausages are cooked. Still looks dry as anything. What? I just want to know how Jack's brain works when he gets up in the morning and thought, what can I actually massacre a day instead of what creations? In his head, does he go think, I can make a creation a day? And everyone else is going, Jack, leave the microwave alone. I just wonder if he's looked at the... Uncle Ben's, or now it's called Ben's because of the uh, snowflakes in the world. Um, package of rice, and I, I wonder if he's forgotten to, like, you know, turn the microwave on. It just. Where did he cook um, these sausages? Just, just in a pan in the sun outside. Oh. I mean, it's been that hot. He may as well just put it on the plate and left it outside in the on the patio. Uh, still thought. looks oh still looks dry as anything. David Bone uh says uh Sest merd, which means it's shit. <laughs> Lucky social services don't watch this. This would be a safe garden of food. Oh goodness me. Dream three fifty, good to see you. Hope you're well. Says you could lose weight from these pictures. We need the jack plan. <laughs> <laughs> lose those rolls with Jack. I thought that was jack I thought the Jack's plan was how to die in ten ways. Yeah. <laughs> Lose those rolls with Jack Rolls. Max is Max is currently taking notes. Yeah. Can... This will be copied. This will yeah. be copied as well, like my fucking flights. These these will be going out through the window along with everything else. Absolutely. That'll be his Wookiee bent again. <laughs> I bent my Wookiee. <laughs> <laughs> my flight sim doesn't work. <laughs> Oh. I press a button and it doesn't work. I couldn't believe when I found that last night and said to you that, by the way. I thought, what a That cost. was funny. That was really funny. Really, really funny. Um, anyway, that is the uh, end of the segment. Unfortunately, Jack is not here, but we'll make sure he's here next time. So I hope you enjoyed it. me every time that does <laughs> every single time without <laughs> fail. Oh dear. Right, there you go. So that is Model Mania done for uh, another show. Hope you have all enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, uh, do consider leaving a like on the stream. If you haven't, leave a dislike. Also helps the channel, so you'll be helping out one way or another. Uh, also, pinned to the top of the chat, uh, if you want to become a member of the Copyright Elite Club uh, and get yourself a nice little badge next to your name, and uh, take advantage of the perks uh, of the emojis and um, getting a, a shout out at the beginning and the end of uh, the shows slash flight sim streams that we do. Uh, you can click the link top of the chat and you'll get yourself uh, into the club. Right. Let's do some shout outs and uh, let's get out of here. So, Wayne, over to you uh, if you want to do some shouts. So thanks everybody for tuning in. It's been a while since we did one of these, so it's nice to be back in the sort of uh, flow of it. Um, 
looking forward to doing obviously the run up to Christmas because we'll have some stuff, special stuff hopefully, fun present ideas. Um, get your questions in next time and we'll try our best to answer them. And also we we'll maybe just need to do a show where we get people to send their collections in or like you say, a, where we can sort of help people source models if they are really struggling. But try to either drop one there's uh, the departure on the message on social media and I'm sure we can help you that way as well. And you can find those in the uh, description below. Yeah. <coughs> um, but yeah, if anyone else, by the way, has got any uh, shout outs, do put them into the chat as we do ours and say our goodbyes and stuff. And uh, we will uh, show them on screen uh, as we uh, as we do ours. Um, yeah, well, big thank you to everyone who's been watching. I worked out uh, the other day, actually, that, uh, no, not the other day, uh, earlier, before we, before we even did this. The last time we did one of these was June. Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's crazy. It was crazy. Uh, but June is when the last time that we did this. So uh, it's nice to kind of go back into the model chat again. And uh, like I say, over the next few months, there's going to be so many more releases. There's going to be so many more exciting things coming, especially from NG models. Um, and um, we're looking forward to reporting it. And we'll be looking into other um, model manufacturers as well and uh, giving them a little bit of a, a spotlight uh, as well. Um, I'm just replaced my potato on how to mark the cabbage internet. It didn't play up too much tonight. So the cabbage internet has held off well. Brilliant. Hasn't been pickled or anything else. So we're all good. Like a bit of pickled cabbage. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yes. Um, all that's left for us to say is uh, I'm going to be back tomorrow with a flight sim stream that Wayne has suggested, uh, which is, of course, Stansted to Frankfurt on the um, FedEx 777, uh, which should be a lot of fun um and otherwise uh enjoy the rest of your sunday evening um enjoy your monday whatever you do and um, what time should we start tomorrow let's say quarter past seven something like that for the flight sim stream so uh i will see you then otherwise take care enjoy your uh, enjoy your evening and uh, see you tomorrow for some more fun and games on the channel take care everybody bye bye all very very soon take care everyone And in the city.